Setting your annual real estate business goals doesn't have to be a challenge. KW Command can help you set your goals and track your progress all year long, all while you simply run your business in the system. Let's get started. We're gonna get started setting our goals inside of the reports applet on the goals tab and using the goal settings button in the top right hand corner. This is gonna start our goal setting guide, helping us set our goals by walking us step by step through the process. Let's use the get started button to go to the first part. This is where we're going to set our goals, starting with our annual profit goal. This is where you can type in your annual profit goal for 2023. Next, you'll be able to estimate your annual expenses and cost of sales. For the business makeup section, this is where you're going to estimate the balance between working with sellers, buyers, and leases for next year, as well as estimating your average commission per unit. Here, I'm gonna keep my balance at 50% with listings and 50% with buyers, along with my average commission for my particular market area. On the right-hand side of the screen, we've seen our goals update in real time. As you fill in more information, you'll see all of the numbers automatically calculate reversing back up to what is your annual estimated gross commission income goal. This number is taking into consideration your cost of sales and your estimated operating expenses for the year, helping you achieve that annual profit goal, which was the number that we started with. Now we can use the continue button in the bottom right hand corner to move forward to the next step, setting our conversion rates. In this screen, we've already established some recommended conversion rates for you. However, if you're aware that you have different conversion rates, you can also use the set individually toggle right here. This allows you to individually set conversion rates from leads to contacts to appointments, agreements, and pending or under contract transactions for your listings, your buyers, and your leases separately. This is where you can go through and make any adjustments to the numbers that you need and you'll see on the right hand side all of those numbers get updated in real time if you'd like to revert to using the recommended rates you can always use this button right here to set them back now let's use the continue button to move to the last step reviewing our goals this is where we can see a combination of our goals that we set and our conversion rates to make sure everything's right before hitting the set goals button in the bottom right hand corner. We can always use the back button if we've made a mistake and we'd like to make any adjustments. Keep in mind that you can always revisit the goal settings guide to make any adjustments as needed. Let's go ahead and hit the set goals button to take us back to the goals tab in the reports applet back in command. Now that we're back in the goals tab, before the start of the year, we'll be able to switch from our 2022 goals into our 2023. And this screen is going to update throughout the year, helping us maintain progress towards those annual goals we just established. You can always break these goals down to a monthly level using this toggle right here and switch it back to a year. If you're interested in breaking down your goals by a particular set or piece of business, you can also see listings and buyers. The best part about this screen is it doesn't add any additional work. By simply running your business in command, the activities that you complete inside of contacts and opportunities or your sales pipeline will help feed this report with the information necessary to make sure that you always know how on track you are towards those annual goals. You don't always have to go into the reports applet to get a snapshot of your goals. Right here on the home screen, you can use the customize home button in the top right hand corner to bring the goals widget to the top of your home dashboard. By applying these changes here, now every time I log into command, I can have a quick snapshot of my goals from leads, appointments, under contract, and closed units down to my GCI goal breakdown. Using that drop down in the top right hand corner to see month to date and year to date. Now you've seen how easy it is to set your goals inside of KW Command. If you're interested in learning more about the numbers behind this goal setting guide, check out a link in the description box below to the economic model on our digital magazine, outfront.kw.com. Or you can always pick up a copy of the Millionaire Real Estate Agent book and give it a read. Oh, don't mind me, just doing some light reading while you decide which video to watch next. <laughs>